For a country, infrastructure construction is a reflection of strong national strength and the foundation for economic development. As a country with rich experience in infrastructure construction, China has fully realized the comfort and enjoyment that high-quality infrastructure brings to its people. However, in Africa, which is full of mystery, its huge economic potential cannot be fully realized due to its backward infrastructure and technology. In most African countries, even the most modest road construction is problematic. However, with China's strong support, many African countries also have many Chinese-built infrastructure facilities, which have become a key tool for their social development. In today's video, we will learn together what famous large-scale projects China has built in Africa and what changes these projects have brought to the lives of local African people. If you like our video content, please click to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can receive all our latest video content. Now, let's get into today's topic. As we all know, the construction of hydropower stations is one of the important ways that China helps the development of African countries. Among them, Zambia mainly relies on hydropower as its source of electricity. As precipitation in South Africa has decreased significantly in recent years, this has led to widespread drought in Zambia. Under such circumstances, this resulted in Zambia suffering an unprecedented power shortage. In the dry season of 2019 alone, the country's power deficit was as high as 700 megawatt hours, causing long rolling blackouts across the country that lasted up to 18 hours a day. While drought makes hydroelectric power stations inefficient, it also means there's plenty of sunshine. In order to solve Zambia's power crisis, solar energy has naturally become the first choice for its emergency energy plan. In 2023, Zambia decided to plan and build a major photovoltaic power generation project, but faced technical and financial challenges. Zambia urgently needs to cooperate with other countries, but many countries believe that the project has limited profits and have declined Zambia's invitation. At this critical moment, China has become the only country willing to help Zambia. After China's bidding competition, China Power Construction Group finally successfully won the construction rights of this major project by virtue of its good global reputation and rich project experience. According to the cooperation agreement between the two parties, Power China stated that it not only provided advanced solar technology, but also promised to provide necessary financial support to Zambia. It is understood that the photovoltaic project has three phases, which will be implemented in Kabwe, Kariba North Shore and Lower Kefu Gap regions in Zambia. Each region will build a 200 megawatt power station and its supporting power transmission and transformation. Facilities, the construction period of each power station is 12 months. These solar power plants will provide clean and reliable energy, generating up to 600 megawatt hours of electricity annually. This has alleviated Zambia's power shortage problem to a great extent. After these photovoltaic projects were put into use, it became the largest solar power generation project group in Africa. Even more exciting is that the project created thousands of local jobs during construction and operation. This has improved the lives of many poor Zambians to a certain extent. In addition to power station projects, China has also brought a Chinese solution to desertification control in Africa. The Sahel is an area south of the Sahara Desert and north of the Sudanese grasslands. Over the past century, this vast land has suffered multiple severe droughts, which have had devastating consequences for the Sahel region. According to statistics, this series of environmental disasters caused the death of more than 3 million people, forced tens of millions of people to migrate ecologically, directly affected more than 40 million people, and affected an astonishing 135 million people. This catastrophic environmental change resulted in a serious disaster known as the Great Famine in Africa. In order to deal with this problem, the African Union launched the Great Green Wall of Africa initiative in 2007. According to the plan of the initiative, 
countries in the Sahel region will establish a plant belt 7,775 kilometers long and 15 kilometers wide to resist the process of desertification and promote agricultural development. The project aims to restore 100 million hectares of degraded land and achieve 250 million tons of carbon sequestration by 2030, while also creating more than 10 million green jobs. As an important partner of this initiative, China provides valuable support and experience to Africa's Great Green Wall. During this period, Chinese staff not only provided adapted desert plant seeds, but also taught local people the technology of building wells for irrigation. This greatly improves the construction efficiency of the Great Green Wall of Africa. As China advances this initiative, the scope of influence of the Great Green Wall of Africa continues to expand and now covers almost the entire arid and semi-arid regions of Africa. The membership of the initiative has grown from the original 11 member countries to 20 countries and organizations. At present, Africa's Great Green Wall has achieved remarkable results including restoring 4 million hectares of degraded land and creating approximately 335,000 local jobs. However, despite some progress, these results still fall far short of the overall 2030 target. In addition, the infrastructure built by China in Africa also includes numerous housing projects. Let us take the social housing project in Angola as an example. In 2020, a Chinese company served as the EPC general contractor of the first phase of the KK project and was fully responsible for the design, procurement, construction, and subsequent defect repair of the project. According to the project plan, the project is located in the southern area of Luanda, the capital of Angola. The first phase of KK's project covers an area of 8.8 .8 square kilometers. It includes 710 apartment buildings, covering 20,002 residential units and 246 commercial buildings. In addition to residential buildings, the project also includes nine primary schools, eight middle schools and other educational facilities, as well as 67 substations, water and electricity communication systems, etc with a total construction area of 3.31 million square meters. For local people, the first phase of the KK project fills a gap in Angola's housing market. The project has constructed a large number of residential units, providing safe and comfortable living conditions for local residents. In addition to housing construction, the project also improves the local community's infrastructure and improves the overall quality of life of the local community. During the project construction process, Chinese companies hired a large number of local laborers, which provided a stable source of income for local residents. More importantly, Chinese companies actively impart technical and management experience to local employees during project implementation, improving their skills and employment competitiveness. This helps local residents participate in more construction projects in the future and promotes the localization of technology and knowledge. In addition to Angola, China also successfully signed a general contract with Guinea totaling 1.478 billion US dollars. According to the cooperation agreement, the contract involves the construction of 20,000 housing units in Conakry, the capital of Guinea. This project not only covers survey, design, and construction engineering, but also some necessary municipal engineering projects, with an overall construction area of nearly 2 million square meters. With the implementation of this major housing construction project, it significantly eases the long-standing housing tension in Conakry. Some Guinean officials expressed their gratitude to China because the project will not only directly improve the quality of life of local residents, but will also promote Guinea's progress and development in the field of social housing construction. From a broader perspective, the successful implementation of this project is expected to have a profound positive impact on Guinea's economic and social development, promoting the overall progress of local society. In fact, China's participation in infrastructure projects in Africa also covers many hospitals in African countries.
In Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, a landmark construction project undertaken by China, the African Union Center for Disease Control and Prevention has been fully completed. It is understood that the project is located in Africa Village, about 10 kilometers away from the AU headquarters. Its construction area reaches 23,000 square meters, including key facilities such as administrative areas, emergency response centers, information centers, and biological laboratories. As one of the key cooperation projects of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, the AUCDC is not only another milestone in China-Africa cooperation, but also the first comprehensive CDC equipped with modern facilities on the African continent. For African countries, the successful implementation of the project has improved the speed of disease prevention, surveillance, and emergency response in Africa, thereby significantly enhancing Africa's public health prevention and control capabilities and benefiting people across the continent. Especially during the epidemic, this CDC played an important role and saved the lives of tens of thousands of African people. In addition, China also undertook the construction of the third phase of the Tanzania Sibeli Orthopedic Research Institute, which was completed in Dar es Salaam, the capital of Tanzania. It is understood that the hospital has a total construction area of 13,000 square meters, a land area of 6,840 square meters, and an overall investment of approximately 70 million yuan. Thanks to the completion of the third phase of the Msibi Orthopedic Institute, the hospital has added 340 beds, which is equivalent to more than five times the number of beds in the original hospital. For Tanzania, this expansion will not only provide high standard medical services to more patients, but will also significantly enhance Tanzania's overall strength in the field of orthopedic injury treatment. This is of great significance in reducing the situation of local people losing the labor force due to disability, and also brings tangible health benefits to the Tanzanian people. Since the beginning of the 21st century, China has gradually become one of Africa's most important partners. Through large-scale investment and aid projects, China's presence in Africa has had a profound impact and has greatly changed the lives of many people on the continent. So do you still know about the important infrastructure projects China is building in Africa?